<laughs> We're here to discuss the access to the travel classic, as you all know, um, and discuss that. How, I mean, I can go over my thoughts on this. We could open up public comment first. Um, we really don't have a format for this. So I, I think we'll just do like we've done with the prior ones, prior hearings. We will do uh, four, and I'll let you have a little bit of time to speak. Um, and then opposed, and then what? Neutral. Then neutral. And then, then opposed. And then we'll take your comments and then uh, talk about, and then we're going to talk about the two different plans that we have up there. So, and then if we have any questions, we'll ask for it. So, Are those the same plans from a month ago? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. There's, there's only two sets in there. That two, one, two that, but yes. there was four. Four, three, four was not presented. At the last no. open house. Yeah. Which is up there. Yeah. Option four is another one that was was not at the open house, but I asked HMA to, is, to to make that plan. Yes. Um, is it right there? It's right there. Uh, the and then there's the other plan that was plan number two from the open house. So so okay. so um, Why don't you identify the options? Just yeah. Okay. So, so the reason why the and I'll just the reason why they did not put option four, which is up there, out is the fact that they look at traffic as flow and safety, and with that in mind, that was not presented. And so I asked them to present another option. The other option is there, and it's sort of it's sort of been dubbed uh, "kick the can down the road" type of an option. That means the fact that later on there will be more infrastructure put on to it or with it. Uh, both those options have right in, right out on sunrise, though. And I did ask the fact that at the the light, and also that there would be a U-turn at the light, and it should be northbound and southbound, because now we have with the dollar store we'll have another right in right out, so that should also be a U-turn like in Ponderay, and that's in the design aspect, right? Right? That would be in the design. So, Can we pass that yeah. around? No. What the map? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay. Is one of the options we have to everybody to be a little bit quiet while we're listening to you? Yeah, we might want to close the door. <laughs> that would help. Yeah. There's talking going on over here. Well, yeah, yeah. Around so everyone, see it. you all listen. I'm talking as loud as I can without losing my voice. So. <laughs> so the. The right, the the right in, right out. That one, like to be said, they would that they were fine with that. Um, uh, as far as the at the light, if we can have U turns on the light at the light, then we would address people coming out of sunrise being able to hit those southbound faster. Um, they would not have to then on plan two access around the back of the travel plaza. They would just access on the highway, take a U-turn out. Um, that is one of the, the stipulations that that I perceive. We, that's what we have to have. That's just the thing. Commissioner Burton, can I yes. ask for that? I think the gentleman's question was if one of the options was leave sunrise alone. So we had ITV up here to discuss with them what our options are. A traffic impact study was done um, for the proposals by the tribe to find out about accessing the highway. And ITV reviewed the traffic impact study and it warranted a signal. 
if a signal is either at Sunrise or Toby Way, which the option two is proposing Toby Way, Sunrise Road has to be a right in or right out. There is no choice from ITV. So ITV allows us to work with our county roads to a degree, but they quoted the IDAPA rules, which are state rules and Idaho code, um, and they provided the commissioners with that set of IDAPA rules and the approach um, lengths between approaches, lengths between signalized intersections that they are required to meet. And so that traffic study warranted a signal. We recommended it being at Toby if it was going to be somewhere instead of at Sunrise because of the hill. And they said that then the road, Sunrise Road is a right in, right out. Three mile road to the north is already a right in and right out. It has a sign that says no left turns. And the new approach that they allowed at for the proposed dollar shore, that is also permitted right in and right out only. So because of the signal at three mile already and then the existing proposed signal, or not existing, but the proposed signal, they designate what our county roads can be. So, so leaving Sunrise alone wasn't an option. Even the option that- Just strictly because the tribe's doing their thing. No, no, because ITD has to allow access to the highway, just like the county has to allow access to the parcels. So, so even if, it, it doesn't matter who owns the piece of property, if they didn't have access to the county road, the state's working to get them access to the highway. And, and all of our accesses inter, impact everything else. When was the study done by the state? By the tribe was last, last, summer. last summer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. August. Yeah. By a, uh, by another consulting firm, not the one that's here. Um, the study, and, the study uh, was done at 60 miles and 55 miles an hour. Right. Not at 45. That's correct. That is what the speed limit is on the highway right now is 55. But that, you're able to influence the state to make the U-turns up there. So obviously you have... Con some influence on the state. So my that, thought is, the U-turns weren't even brought up until I brought them up. And according to Idaho Code, they said according to Idaho Code, any signalized intersection, you can do a U-turn unless it says no U-turns allowed. So so it isn't it isn't really us saying let's do a U-turn. That was a question that commissioners were brought. But ITV traffic engineer stated the fact that it, it is allowed. And there's no room up there to have the future. So if I drive out of Circle B Trailer Sales and I want to go to town, I have to drive up to three mile to go to town. No, no, you drive up to the first light on Toby Way and you would let the U-turn and go back. Like in Monterey. Just like Monterey. Yeah. So. Uh -huh. so, and that's dictated by the state. They're going to well, not allow the left-hand turn. Well, if that's Sunrise. dictated by the state, then why can't the 45 be brought up to the state? And that would change the whole picture. I think you're talking to the wrong group for that. No, so. not, because you, so, have, you already influenced the state on the U-turns and all that stuff. No, because that's already allowed by state law. So we're just making sure that they don't put a no U-turn sign up there. So you haven't talked to the state about this at all? You know, we, they came to one meeting that we could talk to them about. And I have continued that, I have. And, and I do not have an answer back because the turn lanes have to be designed for the speed. And so that is a question that I ask. Not only looking at this uh, travel plaza and approaches that we're dealing with, we just dealt with one on Homestead Loop. And, and people are concerned with traffic there. So we are asking ITV, what, what is your thoughts on reducing that speed to 45? Yeah. So they are looking into it. I do not have an answer back as of today. I asked them just in case I could have they one. they did a study last summer, what if you, if you put the light in, just the fact that you're, and you've slowed it down to 45 and you've got a light there, you've got a long period of time. There's no traffic coming from the north every couple minutes or whatever it is. 
which makes that even safer. Makes what safer? I Sunrise. So I'm here to understand that last week when ITD was here, mm -hmm. first off, I'm not sure it changed in the last week, because last week we, we did open up to all six options, and we discussed them, or you guys discussed them between you. Right. Um, but there were six options on the table. So I want to make sure before we do a comment, comment here, we're only going to talk three options. So two. two. Just two. And yes. so the other four were taken off the table. Yes. So any argument we have when it comes to that has not, is not going to pertain to this meeting today. Is that so we're wasting our time. Whoa. And then secondly, on the 45, I talked to the IT guys out in Parkins. And I let them know my position. I let them know my, my history working the roads and my history working these roads. And the fact that I leave that intersection anywhere from six to eight times a day. And um, one, one the, the threat that they're posing has never been apparent to, to any law enforcement officer that they're, that they're mentioning up there. And then, and then the secondly, I said, well now, tell me something. We, we've extended a 45 mile power zone south of town to the golf course past uh, for safety reasons, okay? Um, coming in from Highway 2, you go down to 45 miles an hour at a great distance before you get to the traffic light. For some odd reason, we're ramping people back up to 55. To send them down a hill on a downhill slope, fighters are getting ready to make a right-hand turn, and then we're, we're jacking down to 45 miles an hour. Where it's commonly icy and very dangerous. We actually lost some of our dear citizens on that hill, at that corner, just some years back. And so, what we've not lost more of citizens to is pulling out and trying to head south off of Sunrise Road. That's not happening. Um, but I did bring up to them, I said, well, how in the world could you justify 45 miles an hour, I mean 55 miles an hour, when you have light, light, and then you're jacking, going downhill. So in between that second light and downhill, you're going to be putting down 45 miles an hour. And let's reverse it, coming uphill, all the truckers, everybody, they're going to be working their RPM, trying to get up to 55 by the time they crest that hill, just to walk it all down again and come to a stoplight. None of it makes sense. All right. Why don't you just stay 45 miles an hour? and they wouldn't commit to it. They instead gave me some ridiculous study, and this is, I'm, I'm quoting them almost, about people sitting there at 45 mile an hour zones, and they're much more relaxed drinking their coffee, and therefore when they pull out from a car, they're assuming they're going 45, and they cause an accident. Now, I've never heard a traffic study that was based on somebody drinking their coffee inside the road at 45 miles an hour, uh, in a 45 mile an hour zone. And so, that was their justification to me, and, and, and their explanation for not giving us a 45, which would completely change this. And we, we wouldn't be having this meeting anymore because our road could be left alone. We're being invaded by this, this rule change about right turns or possibly closing us and forcing us to drive on sovereign land around uh, to, to, to access Highway 95 again, all because they won't just commit to it. And he says, well, after the light comes in, I'm sure we're going to 45. Well, why not say beforehand and not change and abruptly uh, yeah, you know, change so we can people's lives in such negative ways. So I, I just want to think, if we have this conversation without having the 45 as a realistic outcome, which we all know is going to happen, then we're actually talking about something that's apples and oranges because really we're not, we're talking about how to access and everything. The 45 will come and everything, but we cannot, we're, we can't address that right now, the 45. Um, we're, what we're addressing is how to, we can't deny access. We have to, we have the access options here. And so now we're trying to figure out how is the best way to access. Do they and have to just get access off 95 or can they get it off two? I'm sorry. Can, does it have to be off of 95 yeah, or can they get it off of two? Yeah, it has to be off of 95. So That's the it, law. Let me ask a quick question. Because yeah. you have the right in, the right out, in, right out. But on the opposite side of the street, which is, uh, David Thompson Drive, which is where my property is at, that's going to be right in and right out too as well on that side. That's up to ITD. That we don't have any control over that. The, we they wanted to. I mean, I, I don't think that shutting Sunrise off that was not even an option, though. And the the only option I could see is all right. We're going to have a light. Then why don't we have a U-turn at that point? So people out of Sunrise can get into town as fast as they can. If they have to go going around the Trail Plaza for a semi, I'd much rather do that than try to make anything, yeah, a U-turn of that. But the reason why but, I bring uh, it up is because if you have a right and right down on David Thompson going the other, she's like, I made a northbound turn. Where's gonna be a where's gonna be a turnaround for the going south to go north? 
down the bottom of the hill? Or? Well, I'd say you probably pull into Homestead. Bill. Oh. And, and then, gentlemen, we're we're talking about something that there's no common sense they, in what they, they're, they're, they're. I think the only in. option that you're looking at would be option number four, though, the kick the can down the road option. Is well, that they kick the can down the road, gives us 45 miles an hour. It gets us two lights to stop traffic. When we have a slow traffic moving on the hill. But it will remain right in and right out it on will. sunrise, yeah. no that's matter right. what. Which we don't need. Yeah. You know, I, I sense our... No, that's, 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 that's ITD, though. That's, that's what I'm us. saying. It, I, ITD. I, I asked ITD if they could make it again. They made it last week, and they and weren't able to I do it. I appreciate that, but they're also basing on 55 miles an hour. No, that's what I'm trying to say earlier. They, they read us the IDAPA rules and the Idaho code they're under. There's two separate things. There's speed limits and there's distance between approaches and signalized intersections. So even if you reduce the speed limit because there's a signal at three mile and a signal at one of the roads in between, the other roads in between become right in and right out. So then there's no question about Thompson sunrise. will be right turn only. Mm -hmm. So you're going to have to get off on Homestead. This sounds safe. And then some other turn around and then try to get the road. Or just more. That's a casual. Go ahead, Angela. So, Commissioners, can I please suggest that we just keep it to the topic of our access and not any other roads? Yes. Thank you. Yes. I, have a, I have a question. Did you guys ever reach out to Sage Dixon? I believe he's on the transportation um, committee or even Scott Hurdon? Yes. Okay. Thank you. You know, I've got a question here. Thursday we were notified that this meeting is going to be, and there's six options back on the table. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Let me tell you what I was told, and I think she was right. And then we get here. No, now there's just two options. Well, who's leading or running this boat? Is it the tribe? No. Or is it the county? It's ITD. ITD. Well, that, that's kind of convenient. Why are they here? problem in the last meeting they we had. They've been, they've been, to be honest, they've been beat up on so much. They're like, we don't have to be there. No, we, we don't. We they're going to do it with us. So we're in our time. Yeah, we're yeah. going to respond yeah. to yeah. Well, so so say, Unfortunately, it's true here is we have to deal with what's presented to us. Yes. So that, that it's 55 mile an hour currently. We have no consideration as a board to lower that speed limit to 45. Even though that does, I agree, it makes sense. But that's not something that we can deal what with. But you haven't approached them with it. Here, let's, so we're getting a little bit, yeah, one kind of this. I'd like to, if you have a question, raise your hand, Dave. So, um, yeah, I'm disappointed. But I, I uh, there's other options that are very good that we haven't discussed. First off, I, I want to say I'm not I'm not trying to shut a tribal project down. We work for nine different ones, but their access could be that north brother. Then then we would conform with the ITD. I think it's only 125 feet or something. Uh, that that uh, then then Sunrise could be completely left alone. And the study was done at 62 miles an hour, if I remember correctly. And it was done for up to 2042. And um, I, I don't think we're, it, and, and then initially I was told that the, the, the tribal project was put in to the property quite a ways because it was going to be a frontage road. And then that didn't work out. So now we're coming up with something else. Um, so yeah, and we did have, uh, uh, you know, at 45 miles an hour, move their access a little bit. They, they're almost in the center of their project, in their property, their access. Their access could move north a little bit. Sunrise could be left alone. Everybody would be happy. That's what I want. Then Toby That's Way would want. not be No, nope. Toby Way is nothing compared to Sunrise Road. I mean, I, so I guess my cares. confusion is why, is there any grandfathered in? We were all there first. And why is it that they, I mean, properties and businesses and we're used to what we're used to, we bought it the way it was, and they can just like buy a piece of property. Yes. They, they, and now like we have to conform to them. And I know you said it's ITD, so I guess, I don't even know why I'm here then. It is. But I just don't understand. Most people have to get permits and have to do all these things before they dig. And now it's like we're all scrambling to try to figure out which way we're gonna get in. <sighs> I mean, we've been working on this 
I've got for a question. over a year, and and we're trying to get. I know. I see the get, meetings, and I was working at the time, and they're in the middle of the day. And, and we had one in the evening too, but we have to get everybody in access safely. We also have to plan ahead. We just got beat up pretty good at the last hearing because they don't think we're planning ahead enough on our roads. That's what we're trying to do on this one. And I would like to clarify that the proposal that the tribe has offered is for a county road that is a permanent easement. So you're not driving through sovereign land. It would be on a county road. If you drive on Highway 95 down towards Plummer, you're driving on a highway that's in the same situation. If you drive on Highway 93 in Montana, going along Flathead Lake, you're driving on the same situation. If you go towards Colville in Washington, you're driving on the same situation for state highways, let alone a county road. We're trying to get something that will get everybody in and out, but also make sure that in the future, if ITD chose to ride in and ride out, they could do just like they did farther south on Highway 95 and close Sunrise off all the way. Right now, if the tribe would like to put a light in and, and ITD stated the lights have to be across from each other. So if they have an access to the highway on their own piece of property, it has to be across from Toby. They do not allow them to have it staggered in between somewhere. So, so we're kind of, we have that, oh, yeah, that we sense. have that to make sense. So there's no option to leave Sunrise alone. There's no option. Anything that happens, <laughs> it will affect Sunrise. That It's going to impact Sunrise. I've got a comment and, and the, or a question. The rest of Sunrise, all of us that are on Sunrise, so Road and Bridge is there too. I mean, we want to be able to get our trucks out as well, right? Just like everybody else, and we want to do it safely. And right now we already have the existing problem when a truck goes around the corner, you, you can't go in your lane, or if there's a car coming right, it can't get around there. Our, we get our trucks to make sure they try to not block it, but it happens. I know that, our low boy. The other low boys that go up and down Sunrise do. The logs that come out of Caribou do. The flatbed trailers that bring trailers to Circle B. I passed one the other day, and he's across the intersection. So we were all looking at accesses and approaches that would alleviate some of those safety issues and still keep everybody going in and out. That's kind of what we're down to. And then we are also under the rules of ITD because they're under the IDAPA rules. Well, can we have a meeting with ITD? Will they talk to us or they only talk to you? You could have come and listened to the last ones. I, I mean, didn't it know doesn't. I, I wasn't told about it. It was so on the agenda. Did you publish it? It was, on, it was on the commissioner's agenda. I'd like to make a comment about IDAPA rules. According to IDAPA, that light is short. It's like 1,900 feet. It's supposed to be 200 and, or 2,640 feet from that light to the next light. They do have the right, in other words, a 10% that they can shorten it by minimum. If they shorten it more than that, then they have to have their study. So basically what it says that there is discretion there that they can change these distances they're not set in stone if, if they move that if they put that light where it's at that's almost a 30 percent change in the distance from what the proposed light to the three mile light and if you if you take that same 30 percent and apply it to sunrise road which were at 850 feet so if you do that, that's a roughly 30 some percent. That's the difference, you know, a little over 30% difference in the distance. So in other words, if you were going to use IDAPA as the guideline for that, then we almost fall within the guidelines. If they're going to make the adjustment. You're saying light, have a light there at sunrise. No, no, have a light where it's at now in Toby Way. Okay. It's, it's, it's only 1900 feet from three miles. So that's about a 30% reduction in the distance that's being allowed by the engineers or, or ITD or whomever. Well, if you're gonna take that same reduction, in other words, into consideration, they, they say, okay, we have to have a road 
road spacing has to be 1,320 feet, dot, dot, dot. If you're gonna have a light in this district, or this is what a, risk, a regional, we could drop down to a district, I don't know how that happens. It doesn't matter, it is, the argument is with ITD, not with you guys. But so if you can justify having that light there with that reduction in footage, then you can justify having the reduction in that distance from sunrise to the light. Are it, you, uh, okay. We're, but but it's, what we're talking about is I, IDAPA yeah. guidelines. So IDAPA says X amount. This is not set in stone, it can be changed. So that it's not, so what are the parameters? How can you change the distance of the light on Toby Way to, to three mile without giving the same consideration? The, the reason why they say we can't have, uh, we can only have right in, right out on sunrise is because we're only 850 feet away, which falls under the IDAPA rules, IDAPA 39. But they have the right and they can go to uh, the same individuals that are gonna make that determination. I understand that's not you, you guys don't have anything to do with that. I, I do understand that. But that's not, an, but the argument is, is that we can't have it because of IDAPA, that's not true. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean. Because you're saying it's with, within a certain range mm -hmm. of footage. Yes. Well, the IDAPA has, they, it depends on the t uh, type of a highway, either it's a statewide highway or a regional highway. And then there are the, like, if you, if you drop down to a district in the transition area, which we are, because we're in the city impact area, it actually states that it's gonna be 660 feet between roads. You okay. know, the, I'll say the wishful thinking part of this would be the fact that you get the light in and then if they, and you have a right in, right out, then the speed limit's lowered to 45, then go back on the state, petition them, and to, to make it a left out. Right. Be, because then you would have the data there to show the state that this can work. Right. Right now, they want to know, we want something that we know will work, though. So, and that's what they're trying to require. Yeah, require. Why is it put on you guys to make the decision? That you don't have any say on what happens on that part of that highway. And, and so the only thing <coughs> you should be concerned with is what county is. If, if, if the tribe or the tribal plaza wants access to a county road, that's your guys' decision and that's in the story. Doing. The rest of this is not your story. You guys should, shouldn't even be forced to make a decision whether it's option one, two, three, five, six, seven, oh, whatever. I, I, I totally disagree with you on that. I'd want to be able to make the decision. Otherwise, we have the state just shoving it down our throat. They're going to shove it down your throat anyway. But, but the alternative here, if we don't do anything, the stoplight will likely go in. Right. And it'll be to a roundabout if we say we're not doing anything. We do what? the county road. The light will go in to a roundabout, you know, at this point, and then the state will still make it a right hand turn out of sunrise. And our trucks, your trucks, everybody's trucks. Can't you ask him about the footage, like he was talking though, if it's enough distance that we could still go right and left? Well, I they, mean, they, they, they say that the stop was going to you go straight across, you have to go, you go back. Yeah. Yeah. Across. I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't like it either. I mean, that's, you don't live up there, probably. I, 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 I don't. I've never heard any of this two, three weeks ago. When you were at our meeting, never said a word about any of this. The first time we met with State was last week. They did want, they wouldn't meet with us the first so, time. So, open house. They say something, and a week later we all hop because they said it, not because there's fully that clarification. Is this typical behavior for um, the highway, or is it just because the. Native tribe is involved. You, you could put Walmart to be in there. We'd be, we'd be dealing with the same thing. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah they look at Pondere. Yeah, yes. I, that's it's what I was thinking. Look at Pondere and Sampling. Yeah. What they do with those so, roads. Look at Pondere and Motorplane. So yeah, when I did come meet with you guys, I, I had stated then that this yeah. is being dictated by the state. I think your argument was with the state. I said that from the get-go with you guys, and it's still true. 
That's so if you as commissioners have nothing, then you can't you can't say if, if we do nothing, the stoplight's still going to go in from the state in the truck, and then they're going to make you a right hand turn only at a sunrise. That doesn't work for the county either. Doesn't work for you guys. It doesn't work for anybody. That's, we want, the, we want, that's the unfortunate truth. The, the original thing that started this is they applied for an approach off of Great Northern. Okay, you want all this traffic coming in Great Northern. Okay, that's why this is like it is right there. Short and sweet. Is there anything that we could all do together with your support to go to the state and say, we cannot shut Sunrise down? No. There's nothing you guys can do? The, the state said because of the grade of the hill, they would not put a light there. Well, that's that's fine. So yeah. 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 Just tell them not to shut it down. That's yeah. all. <laughs> but the development on a property, well, the traffic know, study, the, the, the traffic study yeah. done warrants a signalized intersection. So that that's the two things we have to allow the development that's allowed on that piece of property, and the traffic study warranted a signal then you have to deal with the access to get there. Have we seen the traffic study? We have it. HMH has it. Has anybody yes. done an economic study? Economic impact study? Has any of that been done? Have we seen any of that? We don't need that. I can email you the study if you want it. Huh? I can email you the study if you want it. I know you said there's only two options, but there was this option five. Why are we not considering that one? Which one was that? That's a, a frontage road, which was the frontage oh. roads that come in and loops out and goes to the, to the other. Is there? There wasn't enough rock room for the trucks to get lined up to the highway. Yeah, the 200 foot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, without, there's plenty of room. I mean, 221 feet. I don't quite understand <laughs> what. I mean, we, right, we're, we're still going around. Is that the, is that the one with your red picture radius? on there? Yeah, or the yeah. Truck water water radius. Yes. Yeah. So you're not allowed to block the intersection with the truck waiting yeah. for the light while you have turn lanes that are going turning onto that road. But it wouldn't be different than we currently have in Sunrise. Except it would be at a light and it wasn't allowed at a light. And why couldn't we loop that in a little bit? It's going to be a mess up there. Because you still didn't have the turning radius for the trucks there. Well, we're, we're making a giant move. Why couldn't we just make a smaller one? It can't be any shorter. That is what I've been on my watching page. Yeah, this no, not with their ordinances in the fee schedule. So I, I asked that same question, and with plan development, that was, and it being another piece of property that the county does not own, <coughs> we can't force anybody to do what they don't want on their own property. Same with yours. Yeah. The highway two thing. There is no public access to it. Every, there's so much private property in there that the, the county can't afford to buy that. Plus the airport. The airport has a certain overlay because we ask since it's county owned but it's under a phase. Of course it's not having a right away access. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. It's like a nice. ready to go to. <laughs> is a turnabout instead of a light one of those turnabouts we all asked that. We all asked that because it's like that. I, 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 see, cool. I asked that question. Economic yeah. development. Economic development. And the ITD is like there will be no big roundabouts. That's where you're speaking of. Yeah. On ninety five. Yeah. 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 Ye
that that would suffice a lot. That also having we have a lot of the permanent easement through, and it it, it 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 will help the private citizens get out and you get going south down. It'll be safe. It'll be an all weather road for Great Northern, the cul de sac in the back. Except for um, the sunrise people, it's no. Sunrise in Great Northern, it's nuts. Yeah. I'll tell you that flat out. Great Northern would be an improvement because they just make a loop around and they're at a light. Yeah. Very safe. Yeah. And a person looks at the distance, I drive it every day, two to three times a day. And you look at the distance from Toby Way to Great Northern. On, on this map, it looks huge. But when you really look at what it is, it's not. You and said, you're talking, you said 11, I'm sorry. And you're, I mean, you're just talking, well, when you're talking a semi, I would much rather go that loop and have a light. Try than, coming out of Alderson Lane with a truck. Yeah, well, not all of us drive trucks. <laughs> no, no, that's why I, I said, if you have a right in and, you, and then a, a U-turn at the light, then you're going southbound and, it, and it's safe. So that's, that's yeah. That's, I, does the state ever take in consideration your county ordinances or even the city ordinances? That is their right of way. We don't know. Yeah. No. We dictate. Okay. Yeah, we are dictated by the state. So, I mean, that's why the that's why I wanted to suggest that you turn up the light, though, um, and then that, that's why we have to say the fact that setting sunrise off completely is is totally unacceptable. Okay. So, so, so uh, yes. So uh, we get a lot of business coming down from Canada, but they don't see your sign until they're past the light, where, where the light's going to be at. So to me, I think it's a stupid idea to, I mean, it would seem like if you guys would go to the state and be like, I mean, you don't want people pulling into where tractor supply will be or going all the way to town or somewhere like that to turn around to come back up. Right. Yeah. I mean, that's like, I think, like, we all voted you guys in to be the face of the community. And I think, you know, for you guys to go to the state and be like, hey, we have to have at least some for turnoff um, area if you're coming down from up north. They, they I mean, they won't. It's, it. it's, it's kind of ridiculous you have to go I, to town. It's, I, I mean, I, I know I agree with you, but, but they won't. Yeah. They have their rules. That's what yeah. they said her and told us. They have their rules. But you understand, their boss, you guys have their, the economic impact is huge for us. Because it, it, this is a customer base that us up there that have our businesses up there. I have homes and businesses up there um, off this south, the same road. Um, anybody coming south, a lot of our businesses in Canada and Montana. It, it, this is going to be So your advertisement would say turn out the second stoplight? I mean, and how, how much thing? clearer could you get? Right, it still makes us back of the bus at, 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 for our mm -hmm. industry. Yep. Now, this is not, that's just one business, so I'm, not, I'm just not talking about my own here, but, but bottom line is that they missed that light, they have no way to access it, we're going all the way down the hill and coming back up again. Even, even if you had your front end drove, they would still close down sunrise to a right. Well, right it, when, right. I will say when it comes to the, the, the statement about it's a permanent easement trick, I was impressed because last week meeting, it actually cannot be done, these are federal rules we all have to live by, and within a day that got changed. Wow, that's impressive. Um, that's they said that to me, and I did with you guys, that was them. I know, and that's okay. local people working together. Okay, well, that's great. I was, I was happy to see that. But that doesn't change the fact that, you know, I mean, we go back to COVID, and they shut down U.S. highways. And so I think that's a pretty good agreement. They probably had a pretty decent contract signed with the U.S. government, and yet they shut down highways for a month, what, 12 weeks or something like that? Um, we're not, we're not, yeah. I know, but this is the reality. What I don't want to do is, and again, you said is that option is still there, and so we can't ever look at that. Well, if we don't do this, we're going to shut this road down. But that simply just cannot be allowed. I mean, we came in to make that an option. And so I appreciate the fact that the tribe uh, allowing us this back access road, if we choose to use that road, but our road needs to stay open, needs to be accessible, and once it's 45, it won't be an issue anymore. Yeah, no and, that's, that. and, and that's really, I think, the only way to. to twist their arm, so to speak, is to go and pick an option and then see the speed limit get lowered down to 45 and then go back onto it and then address it. But it's a lot easier preventing than backtracking. I agree, it's hard to get things reversed. Like uh, we just did with the speed limit out by the golf course. So they, they did not want to do that. 
and and everything. But we have to protect to ourselves and you guys in the case that they don't ever allow that kind of thing. You still have to have safety first. You yeah. get everybody in and out, not just one but, but not person. That's why I'm safety. safety. I understand you guys. You know, I, I find it, uh, it's like, since, since our first meeting, I've been playing a game when I come to my intersection. I do it at all hours of the day and all hours of the night because of my job. And it's 1001. 2002. The longest I've had to count in all these weeks now is the 13. Um, before I safely, slowly, able to access my road and travel south in Bosch Ferry. The norm, including today, when I pulled up to come to this meeting, um, it was less than I mean, I pulled up, I stopped, looked, and went, no problem. Whatever traffic problem they're talking about, this great risk that, that we are somehow posing to this entire area, it's not present. We don't see it. And then all of us have common sense to go, that light's even going to make our life better. That, that's actually a good thing for us. Mm -hmm. And of course it's going to be 45. Again, we're going down a road here we shouldn't even be having to do, but I, I feel like there's not a strong enough voice going forward. Option four is still on the table, obviously, and yet we cannot, or I guess, that cuts off uh, the, 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 the roundabout uh, idea as well behind the, the, the travel center, which I understand if, it, if they want to build that force, make that accessible to us, as long as we're not stuck to use that as an only route. But knowing that this road is not causing a problem right now, we're all getting along just fine out there. Uh, is anybody here have a problem with trucks coming and going to that intersection? And um, I guarantee you, nobody's got a problem with trucks coming and going to that intersection. I, I think we, we, we have, have the, I think we have the most trucks coming into that intersection. And um, and in all fairness, if the tribe hadn't have done that, this would probably be one of the intersections that Road and Bridge would have looked at next, because we face that daily at that intersection when everybody is coming out of Great Northern Road, we stop in front of the cabinet shop, mm -hmm. let everybody in and out. I don't know how many times people have blown the stop sign at Great Northern to get out to Sunrise. Yeah, one, one of these days, that's what we were gonna have to do because there is an issue. There hasn't been an accident, thankfully. That, but I've done the study, but, I pulled up the old system, and I cannot find one, yeah. one actual accident that that is intersection cause i didn't say intersection related i was a new one okay was yeah he one? was i guarantee it <laughs> intersection <laughs> cause or intersection related there's two different terms there that we use okay. very carefully in our no, it's fog related guess what no it's fog related fog related yeah. okay so so bottom line is you know i got my fire marshal right here as well and he responds to the calls with me neither one of us can actually think of a well i can think of plenty of chinook in 95 plenty of riverside in 95 and, and that's the intersection we got main road and main road coming together before they they boot right out to the highway plenty of accidents there i can't think of one at that intersection and yet for some odd reason we become the focal point of this development that we're all very proud of this is i'm i'd love to see what the tribes doing there and i fully support it i just you guys it's just so illogical that this has to be a part of, of, of the conversation it it's called proactive. That's what we're trying to be is proactive instead I, I of waiting that. until there's some focus on that. I know for a fact are far greater threats because that was never proved to ever uh, proved itself to be a threat. And this is going to make life better for us, the traffic lane. Common sense. Yes. Uh, my question is the light at Toby Way, is that already going to be an exception to the rule because of the distance from there to three well, miles? It, it's, it's the only option. The hill but is stop. it an exception to these I found or whatever rules? Is that them. an exception to those rules? That's the ITD question. So I don't have that. Yeah, I'm sure it sounds like it is. So why is it you, as our representatives, can't go back to the state and say, "Yeah, this is what you you give us the Hobbs choice, you know, lesser of the two evils, choose one." Why can't we go back to them and say, "This is not what the community wants." Community sees at this one why is it that you can't consider this you're shaking your head as if ITD doesn't look that, does that, that way what did say they came to you to get a, an a, approval did they no. did, did they come to you to have you go we have yeah input. we want b and not a we have we have input what yeah and we that were, sounds like what i'm asking you to do what, what did sage and um scott say so i talked to sage and a lot of that was to try to get ITD to come to the table, which they did last week, so we could understand why they were going to do something and what rules they were and what they were going to enforce upon us. And so, Sage just said, "Well, I'll try to get the same people at the same table with you because they enforce the rules." 
Why I think some people in this room reached out to Sage as well. Correct. Okay. So uh, I, I helped put you guys together. Yeah, I appreciate that. The hard part was is that understanding was going to be a, a, in a room where there could be an actual level conversation, um, not have ITD talking down to us or in a room where we're not able to make comment. And so that was what was told to me. And, and I'm sure Sage is not aware because he seemed very passionate about the idea of our road and our way of life not being destroyed up there. Um, or, or the valuable properties or our businesses may, may lose money or anything else. It doesn't seem to make sense to have one business prosper over another yes. business. Yes. Um, I would have loved for ITD to show up to this meeting. Do the head well, of the we have another meeting when they can come. We just they're not going to come. That's the problem. I asked them to come at the last meeting we had. Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, I didn't know that that was going to be it. I thought they'd be here today. Yes. I'll ask once again if we can go back to just our access and not talk any longer about ITD's rules. Um, we're we're going way over time. Um, and I've heard the term wasting time several times, well, and I feel like we're continuing to do that. So. Very good. Okay. I, Thank I you. Have a, Question. Yes. Thought, we have a circle we trash. We have a package delivery. People bring those boxes there. On little box. Do you think they're going to drive all the way around there, come over there, put that little box in there? No, they're going to take it to town. So it will affect our business. Uh, okay. The, the three mile shipping, as we call it. Okay. Um. Do you have a specific name if I was to contact ITD, like the head? I know I can probably Google it or something, but I'm just I'm just interested to know what the footage was, kind of what he was talking about, if we did have it. Yeah. Okay. Marv, what was Marv, it? Fenn. Marv Fenn. Marv Fenn, F-E-N-N. -N. Marv, what did you say? Marv, M-A-R-V. Okay. Get He's at ITD District 1 in Coeur d'Alene, and I'm he was here last week. I'm almost <coughs> I also suggest contacting your state representative. State representative. Yep. I, I've got one question to the engineer here. What, what was the uh, option of left and right turn out of Sunrise Road ever uh, ever taken to ITD? Option. I mean, that's that was what the light was there for. No, no. Just leave Sunrise alone. And put the light at Toby like we talked about. Has that option ever been given to ITD? We looked at option four, which was the leave sunrise alone, but from talking to them, they would still restrict that intersection if we just did option four. When, uh, per the comments, leave our street alone, we tried to do that, but they still said that there would still be a restriction based on the. Based on 62 miles an hour. Based on where the light is going. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> not taking into consideration everything. The speed limit when your test was done last year. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was based on the traffic study that was done by another consultant. I can't speak to that because I wasn't a part of that. But, but we do know that that traffic study was 62 miles an hour. That's what that's what he told us. No, no, 62. no it, they said it, it was not. It was done on an actual 62 miles an hour. Average speed that people are traveling. Yeah. That's what John So so if you went by ITD's rules, then they would taking that speed limit. Mm -hmm. They'd say you're going too slow. We need to raise that to 60. That's that's the way they look at that. That's a study. pretty good break because so, it's not yeah. pretty light. I mean, that's what yeah. the yeah. traffic study It's a traffic study and a speed study. Whenever you, that's why they drug their feet so hard on lowering the speed limit out at the at the golf course. But they did. They did. And it took nine months for sure. us to do it. So, and a lot of years because I mean, that was yeah. right up the line. It was. Years. It was yeah, probably years yeah, before yeah. that. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah. <laughs> well, I think we've aired this out enough today. Um, there's nothing more I can, I, yeah, say on the table. So, uh, so we have no options no. then, but the one to, for access. None of the businesses at Sunrise just have to yeah. basically comply with what you just said because of IT. Yes. Yes. Is there any option that includes a, tur a turning lane to go left in the sunrise coming from the north? No. I mean, I know that's a right yeah. only. You can't no, yes. turn yeah, that's, that's, yeah, yes. it's a three quarter restriction. You just can't, coming out of sunrise, you can't go straight and you can't go left. 
but they're still you can turn from northbound in. or yeah. southbound. Southbound, southbound. Yeah. you can turn in. You can turn. Yes. Yes. Oh. Okay. That's not an option we get to. You're not restricting that right now. That's not an option we get to. No, it's not. I do not. No, no, no. You can turn right. You just can't. Coming out of Sunrise to get on 95, you can't go straight across the intersection per the restriction and turning left to go southbound into town. Yeah. 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 It's just a straight and left is restricted. But from southbound on the highway on option two, you can turn the corner. So or on option four, I mean, it's the same thing. So coming on Canada Way, north, yeah, southbound. Southbound. Yeah. You can turn left on. Yeah. That would help a lot. So basically, that question about people coming from. Canada, they could still turn left yeah. and go on to Sunrise. That would so, help a lot. That would help, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So just from Sunrise onto Highway 95, you couldn't turn left. Correct. Or Great Northern, whatever that intersection is. We'll keep going on Sunrise. Craig. Say that again, what did you say? So how's that sound? Does that alleviate some fears if it's a three-quarter? The only thing that's restricting is left turn from sunrise into 95. If you are southbound on 95, you can turn left into it. If you're northbound on 95, you can turn right. And you can't go straight across. So coming out of sunrise, you can go left and you can go right. No. No. You can go right turn. Right. Right. Okay. So right. then there'd be two options. Granted, they're not as convenient as coming straight out of sunrise on the 95. You can go around and come to the stoplight and say you have a big truck and you don't want to do a U-turn. Or if you're in a car or something that can make the U-turn, you can go up to the stoplight and make the U-turn and head back south. I mean, that's a better bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> it's a ponderate is what it is. It's ponderate. It's I have a question. Thing. So coming yeah. out of David Thompson, I think, um, Shane actually asked this earlier, but I'm a little confused. Coming out of David Thompson, you can turn right, and because that's across from Sunset, right? So coming out of there, you can go right, you can't go straight across, and you can't go left. So what in the world? Are so our, our options don't have to do with that. The pages that are at the end of it, uh -huh. and that's just a potential future. How do you guys word that on that? Where you have all the arrows on all the roads. No, just a potential. That would be potentially the the conflict points that we would have. Potential conflict points. <laughs> that that's the a state. conflict. So <laughs> especially so, but this the decision is not going right to have there. anything to do with the right turn out of that. Right. I mean, I'm gonna, I mean, you're going to have to go all the way downtown. Or no, they're going to put us on Hillcrest right there, right? You could actually turn left. Yeah, right there. Right there. Never mind. David Thompson, <laughs> go over to Hillcrest. Go over to yeah. Home Center. Yeah. yeah right. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna call for a motion on one of these two options um, on on to act on so because we're just we're d delaying the inevitable in, in one way or the other it is I mean we we need to make a decision so can I'll, I'll speak I'll yeah. say road and bridge after all of the different considerations are recommended for the safest solution is option two. And when we ask ITV that, then they said that they would abide by our recommendation. And does that option two allow for northbound traffic taking left in? To Sunrise, correct. Sunrise. What, what does the native, what does the native tribe want? Can we ask? Can we ask what their what exits? No, these are the options. No, I know which option do they want. No, with option two, I'm sure. Well, I I'd like to hear from them what they want. So if they're going to abide by your recommendation, then you are responsible. What uh, uh, option four? You said on option two, they're going to abide by your recommendation. So no, they they, they abided by the option two. The option two they stated was the only one they felt was the safe option. Yeah. Okay. They agreed with option two. They felt that was the safest. That's no way. Good question. Oh, sorry. What? Yes. Other than option two, you said there were two options that you're proposing to make a motion on. Mm -hmm. Um, what was no, the, I'm, I'm making, there's two options on the table, one of those to make a motion on. So option 
option two or option four? Those, yeah. So, yeah, but that's so much. And, and what's the difference between those two? Uh, the difference between those two, you yeah, have. Right there, just look down right there. Yeah. You're, you're holding it. Brent, you want yeah. to? Option two is look. Okay. What's that? Yeah. Okay. So that everybody can yeah. see it. So, option two has a light at the intersection. You have the right. When you're coming south on 95, you can turn left in, you can go straight, you can turn right. But coming out of Sunrise, you can only turn right here. Um, but for trucks, and obviously we're, we're talking about the, the U-turn at the light, but for trucks, we get provided a safe access for a route around through the tribal land, through an easement that the county would maintain, and they would be able to turn left going southbound with this option. This is option two. Option four is basically the same thing, but without the loop, you still have a light there, and ITD could still potentially restrict that intersection there per their rules. So this is just more for, this would give the tribe access, and it would leave Sunrise alone, and it would leave Great Northern alone, no pavement or anything, so. Okay, so if, if, any, if anybody wanted option four, could the state shut off Sunrise without providing an access to those homeowners and those businesses? When you say shut off, like you mean restrict the intersection? Uh, they won't access. shut it off to totally. no, they're, they're not gonna shut it off. It's, it's the awesome. Sunrise Road. I mean, they would just, you couldn't turn left and you couldn't go straight across. You would still go up to the light and you turn around. You just wouldn't have that safe option for trucks to go around the site. Okay. So is, yeah. who's gonna be paying for the easement? Is it county responsibility? We're not, no one's paying for it. Well, no, the, it's, it's, the road. it's just an easement. No, they're going to maintain the road. Yeah, yeah, who's the road? The tribes you, agreed yeah. to actually yeah. build that road. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, they're building that road. They're also making Great Northern an all weather road, which right. is a great improvement back to the cul de sac. And the, yeah, the road around the back would be an all weather road. So, so this is what the MOU is about then to the agreement. That, and then also, the and it would be a permanent. Easement. Okay. I can see yeah. why you'd want to, because then all your trucks and everything can go around the back way. Everybody. Everybody. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, I can see why. So I, 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 I don't want to bring this on and on, but because we kind of lose, is, is it possible to have a, a sign or something at that stoplight that, that lists the businesses? Oh, I'm sure it is. Yeah. That, that's, that's common. Yeah. So how, how would how would we do that? How would that process start? So you're not maybe not the time to talk about that. Great, on What's that? Yeah. On option two, your everybody can still turn into your business that currently. I, I get that, but I'd actually like to see one on option. I mean, at the, at the stoplight because that's where people see it. They're gonna. That's I mean, what, that's through ITD. I'm okay. Sure. okay. All right. Yeah. Find yeah. out if I think it yeah. might just be an application yeah. for a sign. Yeah. <laughs> There's probably like, something. Um, um, we have a motion for a We have motion for a doctor. Okay. With the uh, each uh, amendment off the two is to have the permanent or permanent easement when the new road is built. Okay. All of the motion to include that. We have motion. I'll second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Motion carries. Thanks everyone for coming.